Guido. I've got to hand it to you, Gordon. This might have just been your worst idea ever. Oh, please, Henry, like you would have thought of something better. I would have at least constructed a plan of some sort before I roped my work colleagues into it. I had a plan. It, it, it just... It, it just it, what? It got, it, it got lost. Oh, it got lost, did it now? Yes, it did. You're an idiot, Gordon. Shut up, Henry. I only wanted us to be treated better here. Yeah, and look how that turned oh, out. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Both of you, shut up! Holy crap, please shut up! What the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I listen to your dumbass, that's what's wrong with me! Now Sid Supermat thinks I'm a disrespectful piece of garbage engine who doesn't follow orders, thanks to you! You already didn't do that anyway, Jay. Shut up, Henry! Actually, shut up! Ah, <sighs> look at this. I knew that heated argument sound was coming from somewhere. Oh, please, no. My, my, let's just take a moment and look at this. This, this is rich. Hey, Gordon, I'd hurry up if I were you. The Express is due soon. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, you can't, can you? Because you're stuck in this shed because you're an idiot. Bringing Henry and James down with you, too. That is, that is unfortunately impressive. Got to say, though, James, I honestly didn't expect you to level with these buffoons. <sighs> I guess you never truly know an engine, do you? All right, Thomas, we get that you like to hear the sound of your own voice, but can you, like, go away? Please! Go away? My dear Henry, this is the first time we've seen each other in a month you're telling me to go away. Yes. You didn't even ask me about my branch line. I don't care. Yeah, it's going good, by the way. Thank you for asking. So Top of Matt says I'm pretty reliable and all that jazz. I still have to fetch my own coaches and everything. It sucks, I know, but, you know... I'm used to that at this point. I mean, it's not worth going on strike or something absolutely stupid like that or anything. Well, that express isn't going to fetch itself. I best be going. Bye! He was just at the station. He came to the sheds just for that. <sighs> All right, Edward, let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, you got the coaches all ready for me. Thanks, Edward. Thomas, where have you been? The Express is due in two minutes. Oh, I was just catching up with some old friends. Catching up with some old friends. You went to see the big engines, didn't you? Hmm, maybe. Thomas, we talked about this. We have no time to fool around and boast about our jobs. We're already falling behind oh, schedule. Stop worrying, Edward. Stop worrying. Trust me, it's okay. I've got it under control. Who's number one here? You are. That's but right. But, Thomas, you need to be more serious about this. There's... <laughs> Bye, Edward. <sighs> uh, never mind him, Edward. He's only young. Hmm. We've been running this railway together for six years now, Ted. Sometimes I wonder to myself, when is he going to grow up? I'm sure someday, old boy. Someday. Come on now. Next train is due in a few hours. We'll have a rest at the carriage shed. Hmm. A rest does sound good right about now.